Rub up your engines. Hands of five says, Scotty, what's your opinions on a Toyota CVT? Are they well made? I don't like CVTs, period. I'm just not a fan. And you'll see that Toyota has recalled a whole bunch of their Corolla hatchback with the CVTs for having to replace the entire CVT transmission. So I am not a fan. I have a whole video on that where I explain it's new technology. It's not perfected yet. Maybe they will perfect it, but don't gamble your money on something that hasn't been perfected yet. Do you want to be stuck with a limit? I certainly don't want to be stuck with a limit. So I just tell people to stay away from CVT's period. I'm sure Toyota will probably figure out how to make them so they don't break down. But by that recall on all those Corolla hatchbacks, I wouldn't buy one. Ninja Koopa. <laughs> Scotty, I got a 92 Ford Explorer for recreational purposes. It's an automatic with a V6. I think it has about 270,000 miles. I bought it for 500 bucks. The owner wanted 1300. What's your opinion on these? Are they reliable? You just paid 500 bucks for a used Ford Explorer. That's not much money. If it runs good now and shifts good, you got a decent deal. Just realize that's a 28 year old vehicle. And if you think it's got 270,000 miles since it's only had five digits, it says 70 now. So you know it's got 170, 270, 370. As long as you keep oil in it. I've had customers buy vehicles like that. I got one the other day. He just bought one ahead of eight engine and he bought it for 300 bucks. He did have to put a bumper on it because it was torn off and he got a good deal. It's, it's running pretty good. So just take care of it. But if the engine or tranny starts to go out to just junk it, don't go out and put a ton of money into the thing. It's not worth it. Joey Z5. Scotty, what do you think of the Mazda Miata MX-5? 2019 it starts at 32 grand with option will go over 36. Okay, all cars that are new, that are nice, are expensive. And I never buy them because I'm too cheap. And I don't trust them because I don't know what they made new this year. I'll wait till they get older. That said, I like the Mazda Miatas. I have customers with them and yes, they are known as a girly car. But they're fun to drive. They're a reliable sports car, a little ragtop. They're fun to drive around in. Customers I have like them. I'm not a fan of the ones with automatic transmissions. They're sloshy and garbagey, but the standard transmissions are real solid little cars. And they are fun. But that said, I wouldn't pay that kind of money for one of those things. No way. I mean, that's five times the amount of money that I paid for every single car I bought my entire life that I personally drove, not including my wife's car, just my own work cars that I bought. So I'd never spend that much on one car. And then he says, I have a 2006 Subaru Outback and when I accelerate, it vibrates at 40 kilometers an hour and 80 kilometers an hour. Those things have horrible transmission. If that occurred after you change your transmission fluid, odds are it's the transmission going out. It's shifting at certain times and it's shuddering. When you get a shudder, most of the times it's the transmission shuddering because it's wearing down inside. Transmissions go by fluid differential pressure. That's how they drive. And when they have problems, start shuddering and not going smoothly. And then the vehicle shudders because it's giving power to the wheels and it's kind of slipping. And it's typical on those things. You got to decide it's an 06, it's a 14 year old Outback. Do you really want to put that kind of money into it? If you have a whole bunch of money in it, uh, I wouldn't put too much more really. Uh, a good transmission job on that thing is going to cost you at least three to five grand. Realize that. I personally would just get rid of the vehicle. I'd try some of that Lucas anti shutter additive. Sometimes it can help a little. Take a quart of your fluid out, put a quart of that fluid in, and if it goes away, just get rid of the thing and don't think about it anymore. Thomas Maxima says, I got an 06 Maxima that has a radio problem. It cycles through all my preset stations continuously. Sometimes the dash light shut off, I get a weird screeching noise. There's basically two things that can do that. One is go to any mechanic, any auto parts store that does it free, have them load test your battery and load test your alternator. They can do it in the parking lot on your car with their equipment. And it could be as simple as your battery is going bad or your alternator not putting off enough power. They'll often do that. If that's not the case and then your radio keeps cycling all the preset stations, Ah, uh, it just means that your radio is breaking down. Uh, it's a Nissan. If that's the factory radio, they're pretty garbagey in those things anyway. And as they break down, I'll often do that. They'll start cycling through from one station to the next to the next because they're breaking down internally. And I know guys that still try to fix those things, but really nobody does a good job anymore. You're better off just buying another one. If you uh, have the stock radio, it wasn't that great to begin with. You can buy an Android for a 
like two, three hundred dollars that you can sync everything to and really have a good time and install it. They all fit in those dashes. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.